All right, since I rebuilt my computer, um, I've been playing around with uh, VirtualBox, which is Oracle VM VirtualBox. And right on my main computer, I actually have one, two, three, four, I have five different virtual machines that I've been playing with. I've been, I've got Ubuntu running over here, um, and I've got uh, Linux Mint running over here. I took an old laptop and I downloaded its uh, hard drive, and I have a virtual machine for it. It's a Windows 7 laptop. I can run it from my main computer. Anyway, it's really neat, VirtualBox, um, because I can, just with my mouse, I can go over to this screen, and I'm on this computer. He thinks that my mouse is on here, and like if I open up uh, Internet or Firefox, I just ran a speed test. I got 215 megabit per second, 11 and 11 megabit upload. Um, and then over here on this one, uh, Linux Mint, I ran the speed test from here too, and there was 329 download and 11 up. I mean, I'm not paying for super high speed internet, so these, these numbers are fine. But anyway, it is just so neat because I can use this virtual machine as my email, and then this machine has no idea if anybody were to hack in, which it's pretty hard to hack into the Linux, um, they can't see anything that's happening on my main computer. They can't see anything that's happening over on the other Linux machine. This one is Ubuntu. So I might use this one for just uh, browsing um, YouTube. And I installed the ad blocker that's really good for Linux on this. So here I can watch YouTubes all day. And, oh, and I also installed a true NAS. I, I turned my old PC into a network uh, drive that uh, serves file. It's a file server. Um, anyway, it's just really cool because this machine can't see my main machine uh, can't see the other machine. Um, it's just isolation between tasks that I do. And if I use my main machine for doing CAD work or something like that, um, it's never going to get buggered down by something that one of these machines might download. And the neat thing is if one of these machines did get a virus, like I said, it can't pass over to another machine. But, uh, you can, here's the uh, VirtualBox Manager. Let's say that this Ubuntu that's over here running uh, got, a, got a virus. I could take a snapshot of it. Here's the take a snapshot button. And I could take a snapshot of this machine after I've just built it and it's running fine. And if it ever, uh, and I called that clean install. And here is the current state. Well, the clean install was nine days ago. Sorry if you can't see that. Uh, if anything ever gets buggered up on this computer because of YouTube uh, or some other site that I might visit, um, I can just revert back to the clean install. Um, I could I could delete the present and or take a snapshot. Anyway. It's really cool. So like I said, I still have my old Windows machine. Um, here, I'll start it up. Here's starting the Windows machine. And I think it's going to throw it up over here. Yeah, it's, so his virtual box is opening it up. Starting Windows. And it's just so cool because it's sharing... This Windows machine thinks he's on the old system. He he has no idea that he's really just running um, secretly on 
another machine. Let's see, what's my password? My password is one, two, three, four. Yeah, don't tell anybody. <laughs> There's my old Toshiba laptop. And I used to do some... So, so I had a few files on here that wouldn't run on anything higher than the Windows 7. Uh, and uh, so like here's a microcontroller, uh, Micro C Pro for PIC. And um, that's just some code. Anyway, really wild stuff. So... This machine thinks he's running on the old laptop, but the audio output comes to my real machine's sound card. And it uses my real machine's uh, Wi-Fi. But if you look down here, it thinks that it's got a hard network connection. Anyway, it, it's just... It's just so wild. And really fun to play around with. All right, that's, uh, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, just that I think this is really cool that you can protect one machine from another by virtualizing um, the, the drives. And these Linux is only, you know, they have a fake 25 um, gigabyte hard drive that I create and it's just a virtual hard drive. It's not even real. It's, it's using up a few gigabytes on my actual hard drive. Um, but the machine thinks it has a 25 gigabyte hard drive, but, um, yeah, I think the only thing that would be better than a virtual machine, uh, that I then open Firefox in would be that if you could just, virtually open Firefox without it knowing what computer it's on. But, um, oh, this is so easy to do, though. I really uh, recommend people look at this. All right. See ya. Bye.